manifesting the life of your dreams. Welcome to The Hopefulist with me, Wendy McClure. This is where we turn those nasty, negative thoughts into positive and work toward a happy, fulfilled life. Now, let's get started. Thank you so much for joining me today for The Hopefulist. So happy to have you here. Starting out with the quote of the day, follow your joy and ride the wave of awesomeness instead of limiting yourself and playing it safe. We are not supposed to live the same year over and over again for 85, 90 years. We are supposed to change and grow and experience and have adventure. Yeah. Stop going to the same place for vacation every year. Expand your horizons. Do something different. Take up new hobbies. You might find something that you ap- absolutely love, like I did with pickleball. I just went when a group of friends said, hey, I'm going to teach you this game that I've been playing called pickleball. It has opened up a whole new world for me, a whole new world. I've met so many people. I get so much activity in. I have a whole new wardrobe of pickleball skirts. (laughs) And I even started going to church because of pickleball. I know the weirdest things happened from the weirdest things. Now, the reason that that happened is because one of the places I play pickleball is at a church. And I got to know the pastors there and the administrators and the people who, uh, are part of the organization, and I like them. I think they're good people. So I haven't been to church in a really, really long time. And I thought, well, let me give it a go. I've been going for a couple months now, and it's good. So when you're thinking about trying new things, just remember that it could lead to so many things that aren't related at all. I started playing pickleball, and now... I'm a regular churchgoer. Do they seem connected? No. Are they connected? Yes. So, you know, expand your horizons. Do things a little bit differently. And you never know what's going to happen. So do you look at other people's lives and think, why not me? Why can't that be me? Why do they have... Or what do they have that I don't have? How have they been able to get so much? It's likely they just have different thoughts and beliefs about themselves that you don't. Manifestation is defined as bringing your dreams and desires into being by thinking and acting them into your life. In essence, when you want something... All the universe conspires in helping you to achieve it, as said in The Alchemist. So what does that really mean? Well, it means that when you really want something and you speak it out loud and you act as if you deserve it, and even more as if you already have it, it will come into being. Sounds kind of hokey, right? Yeah, I know. But I put a lot of stock into this. I've been practicing this in different ways for many years. It's like a vision board with all of the things that you want, that, that you want. Have you done that before? You look at that vision board every day and hope all of those things on the board come to fruition. And one of the first vision boards I ever made had this very decorative pearl and diamond necklace. Now, it was real in the picture, but one day I found a piece of costume jewelry that looked exactly like it. And the thing is, I didn't even realize for a while that it was identical to what was on my vision board. But I believe that looking at that picture all the time helps bring it into my life. 
when my husband and I bought the house we are currently currently living in, I had a list of all the things I wanted in a home for us. It had just about everything on that list except maybe one or two things. I believe I brought that into being by being so specific. I gave a direct order to the universe and the universe delivered. I know you're thinking this is a lot of woohoo here today and that's okay. But, you know, I can tell you, this stuff works. But it's more than just about wanting something. It's about believing you can have it. And if you are worthy of it. We all have some limiting beliefs. And a lot of people think they can't get all the things they want. Maybe you grew up in a family that had traditional values and believed that you got a 9 to 5 job, got married, then had kids. And that's what you did because you didn't realize there were other options because you never explored them. In my case, you never even entertained them. And after working at a job, you discover you hate. You are finally thinking that maybe you could go out on your own and do something to make your own money. But that's never the way it's been done in your family. So that's why you've never considered it before. That's why it's so hard to think that it's something that you can actually do. You don't know anyone who's done that. So you believe in your heart that it's something for other people, not for you. And that's where you get stuck. Did you ever hear that you won't be able to do something unless you really believe it's possible? Like my winning the lottery. I don't believe I will ever win the lottery. It's just not something I put stock in. To me, making money in other ways is much more dependable. So I don't really even entertain the thought. But there are people who believe so wholeheartedly that they will eventually hit that big jackpot that they bring it into being. But they also do things to help ensure that for one thing, they buy lottery tickets. (laughs) They may have a system that they use to buy certain tickets with certain numbers. They know how much they are going to spend each week. And when they win a little money, they put that back into the pot to buy even more tickets than usual. Now, these people operate under the assumption that sooner or later they will hit the jackpot. They believe it's possible. It may never actually happen, but it's a lot more likely they will win than someone like me who only gets a ticket when it hits like a super high amount because, you know, that mere 40 million starting point, that's just not worth it to me. Who who wants 40 million? I'm kidding, of course. It's just not worth my time, right? So what is it that you want? Do you want a bigger house? Do you want a fancy car? How about a better job or maybe working for yourself? Do you believe that you can actually achieve any of these goals? And once you get past that part, you have to start making plans to make it possible and even likely to happen. Now, when it comes to my own business, I'm pretty straightforward with you guys. Been slow going. Going on three years now. Things were gotten a little bit better in the last year. Seeing a little bit of improvement. Getting a little more following. Things are getting getting better. Still nowhere near where I want it to be. But I believe if I keep at this, I'm going to get everything that I have been working on. I believe it is, is likely, not just likely to happen. I know that this will happen. But I have to hang in there. I have to keep working at it. I have to keep doing things in different ways and testing out different things to find out what truly works. Another example, if you want a big house, then you should be making a list of all the things you want in this new big house. You will start checking around where you want to buy the house to see if anything's available. You will put the word out that you are looking in that neighborhood and tell people to keep an eye out for you and 
you will start putting aside or gathering the money necessary to make the purchase possible. Or you will get your own house appraised to see how much you can get for it. Are you seeing the difference here between someone who just says what they want and those who start making plans to live that life? It's in the way that you act and behave. It's about the belief that you can make it happen. And when you believe you when you believe that you can make it happen, anything is possible. Except maybe that lottery jackpot. So again, what is it that you want most? Think about it. Put some thought into it. What is it that you want most? Write it down. What can you do today, tomorrow, and on a regular basis to start the ball rolling toward making it happen? Do that and keep doing it. Read the list you create. Often, I say every day, that will keep you motivated and spur you to take action as often as you can. Do you believe you can have anything you want? You should, because I believe I can, and I know that you can too. You have to get rid of those limiting beliefs that have been holding you back. And start acting as if you are preparing for your desires to be delivered. Yes, you can. Get ready because it's all coming to you. Trust in the universe and know it is your turn. Stop thinking that everything you want is for what other people have. Stop thinking that these people that have what you want have something that you don't have. The only thing that they have that you don't have is a different mindset. They have a mindset that believes they can have anything they set their mind to. And you just have to get into that mindset too. If you want some help figuring out what you want most, and how to get into that mindset, I would love to work with you on that. Personal positivity training sets you up for the life you have always dreamed of. Always dreamed of. I'm living my best life right now. I'm not shy about talking about that. I am living my best life. Take the tools that I have used to craft and design my life exactly as I want it to be. Go to hopefulist.com slash training to check out more information. Schedule a free call with me today. Don't keep waiting for your best life. Make it happen now. Make it happen. I know you can do it. So thank you for joining me this week. I hope you have an amazing week full of badassery. I know you can do it. You can do anything you set your mind to. And you know I'm always here cheering you on. Thank you for listening to The Hopefulist. Now, don't you feel good? Make sure you come back next week. See you then.